This week in your weekly upgrade, we provide some assistance in Gmail when it comes to writing emails. We share a great tip when it comes to your Google Drive files, and we assist your course selection needs in Zello from the VLE. I'm Jordan R, and this is your weekly upgrade. Tired of writing the same email over and over again? If you've ever gotten an email from me about a call ticket, I think it goes something like, I have received your call ticket and I'm happy to assist. Well, save yourself the trouble of having to type the same thing over and over again by using Gmail templates. For those of you who don't know, first off, you have to activate them from your Gmail settings. Just go to the settings icon at the top right of your screen and then select see all settings. On the top bar, you'll see an advanced button, select it and then the second option should say templates. Just make sure that they are enabled and you're ready to create. Now compose your email and feel free to add in links to another site or a YouTube video or even Google Drive links. Just a heads up that if you're attaching a file from your computer, it won't save in the template. Always first put the file in Google Drive and link it that way so it's always present in your template. Also, if you have signatures already enabled as well, just delete this one here so it doesn't double up when you select this template. You just wanna save the initial content in your email. And when you're ready, just go to the three dots of this composed email, select templates, and then select save draft as template and save new. Just give it a name for reference and select save. Now to access your template, just follow the same sort of steps. Compose an email, three dots of that email, templates, and select the one you want to use. And now you can be way more productive. I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real, actual work. Okay, here's something that will definitely help you out when it comes to file sharing within your Google Drive. If you have files in a shared drive or files that reside in the shared with me bin of an ending doom and need to create a safe place so you can always easily access them, try using a shortcut. This option doesn't make you the owner or even make a copy. It's just a direct link to where the file originally resides. Like finding the toy in a box of cereal or the needle in your haystack or even finding the secret of how they got the caramel into the well, you get the idea. To easily create a shortcut, just right click the file or folder of choice and select add a shortcut to drive. And a pop-up window will appear as to where you'd like to place this shortcut. Just choose the area and when you've decided, just press the add shortcut. Done and done. Zello? Zello! I don't think they have access yet. Well, if you don't know what Zello is, it's an online program that fully engages every student in building the skills, knowledge, and plans for future success. This is an integral program for a student choosing their courses online for the following year. To find Zello, you must first log into the VLE and then select the grade 7 to 12 specific icon at the top of the student's homepage or for an educator, it's found on your educator homepage. When Zello is selected, you should automatically enter the site. Occasionally, students have reported an error while signing into the VLE, indicating that the system is down for maintenance while trying to access Zello and other apps. But thankfully, this is not the case. The real issue is simply that both students and educators need to clear their Chrome browser cache for the apps both in and outside the VLE to work properly. When that happens, they will have full access to sites such as Zello once again. We recommend you do this fairly often. To recap on how to clear your cache, just go to the three dots, select more tools, then select clear browsing data. A pop-up window will appear, select advanced, then select the time range to be all time. For educators, just select everything except for passwords. For students, even though you can't select browsing history and download history, just make sure everything is also checked on, except passwords, of course, and then select clear data. Now you'll be able to once again log into Zello, so please feel free to share this info with a fellow colleague or with your students. Zello, we're in. Well, that's it for today's weekly upgrade. Let's keep this quick, you know the drill. So take a look right here and you can help us out and then take a moment, breathe and enjoy the rest of your wonderful day.